All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to model um, tubes or lines, whatever you wanna call them. It's super simple, let's do it. All right, first thing I'm gonna add is an icosphere. You can add uh, any model you want, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna, um, sorry. I'm just gonna subdivide it real quick. Hit smooth. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is add a particle system. Hit play, make sure you got particles coming down. It's perfect, all right. Right down here on field weights, make sure your gravity is all the way down at zero. Then hit play and make sure it's doing that. Uh, if you hit play and it's still got the normal gravity, right here on number, just click that and that updates the cache and then it should be, should work fine. All right, so right down here on render, where are you at? All right, right here on render, click path. And then um, right here on cache, where are we? On cache, hit bake. And you've got all these particles. I wanna, so I wanna redo the bake. So the way you do that is you hit free bake and then you click that down there to reset it. I wanna put my particles at 150. And we're gonna bake it again. All right, perfect. Now, over here where your modifiers are, make sure you click convert so you got all your particles selected. Hit Alt C and convert it to a curve. Now, you can go over here to your curve settings and up the depth, and then right here, click full. All right, so now you got all these um, square tubes. If you wanna make them round, go to resolution, up the resolution a bit, and then hit smooth. All right, now they're all kind of hollow. The way you um, fix that you just got to add a solidify and then right now and then you can just up the thickness until it's perfect and now you got you got your tubes okay so this is kind of boring they're all straight if you want that that's fine um but that's not what i want so um what i did on this render is i made them go around the uh, model so we're going to show you that super easy um, the way we do that is we're going to free the bake. We're going to add an empty plane axis. And then selecting the plane axis, go to your force fields and add a vortex. I'm going to give it the strength of five. Now watch what happens. All the particles are going in a circle, but we have one problem. All the particles are just way out there. It's not what we want. We want them close. So I'm going to give the force field right here on flow. We're going to give it a strength of three and let's see what happens. Yes. Now they're all close together. Um, I'm going to give it the strength of five. They're still too far out. All right. That looks good. All right. Now let's bake it over here. Click bake. And then now we're presented with one last problem. All these sharp edges in our lines, super easy. With your um, model selected, go down to display right here on steps. Um, I think six is always a good number. I I've, haven't gone anything wrong with that. The more steps you add when you convert it, you're gonna have a ton of vertices and you don't wanna overload your computer. So this is usually perfectly, um, perfectly smooth. All right, so we're gonna do that all over again, convert, uh, we're gonna add full, up our depth, and up our resolution, smooth, and now we have our modeled tubes and lines and you know, whatever you wanna call them, you gotta solidify, make them fill up the tubes. And um, the way I did that of course was with force fields. Um, I'm gonna link down in the tutorial on how to um, on different uh, force fields and how to add a curve. You can make them do whatever you want. And uh, you can have a lot of fun with that. And yeah, uh, that's how you do it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned something. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. My Instagram's link in the top link of the description. You can check out my other work, ask me questions and whatever. So yeah, thanks for watching.